This is the world of digital, tomorrow's world, brought to you today on BBC Choice. It goes wild with dolphins in half an hour on BBC Choice. But first, it's a scary world to enter, but someone had to do it. It's new, it's most excellent, it's pure sir. Good evening, you're watching BBC Choice. And in just a moment, you'll be watching those crafty cockanese in the EastEnders on the bus. It's Rush in 50 minutes on BBC Choice, but first, Tamsin Althwaite finds a flippant friend. That's a dolphin, and not the man from Atlantis, of course. Good evening, this is BBC Choice, and we hope your Sunday has been a rested one. We'll get things rolling now with live music from One Big Sunday next. It's I'm Alan Partridge Night here on BBC Choice, and in half an hour, Mr P tells us all about his good friend Bono. But first, that other B word, Bond. Good evening, welcome to BBC Choice, but it's not for long because BBC Three's here tomorrow. When you're up here, doesn't matter what group is on, all the music sounds the same. It's just a case of, you know, boom, boom, and, and it all sounds the same. OK, then, now on BBC Three, we head live to Glastonbury again for the final frolics. There may be strobe lighting, but there is definitely Colin and Edith, so over to you two. Uh, well, no, I really can't say that I have, because, uh, I mean, no, I, 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 well, I really haven't, no. In half an hour on BBC Three, the lovely Dr. Marsden will be putting you off your junk food in a snack attack body hits. But first, with strong language, he tries to put you off your booze. Right, now on BBC Three, back to the festival of summer rock and roll. You might see some strobe lighting, but you'll definitely hear some tunes. Glastonbury 2004. And, uh, of course, we compared notes. We've both seen the same thing, except that his man was sort of greenish metallic because he had his sunglasses on. In 50 minutes on BBC Three, we go behind the scenes of Taken and meet Mr Spielberg himself, no less, in Inside Taken. But first we continue UFO night with a little Louis th I've had a lot of compliments in my time, Dom. Because I can open my mouth very wide. And then draw it in quite tight. Mm. At 3.30 we have more comedy as Johnny Vegas has got his grubbies on some saucy Polaroids in ideal. But first, strong language and sexual scenes as we visit the brothel. I drink loads of it and trying to get a beer cut but still can't anyway so I love it. It's great. It's good for me. 
So, my music meisters, time to let the lovely Edith and Zane deliver us into the arms of rock and roll with the likes of Kasabian, Scissor Sisters, and many more. It's Radio One's big weekend, baby. I mean, I know he is. I mean, he, he was a year out the game, and it's a long, long time, and you'll just step back in and find your match fitness and match touch. Right. <laughs> That's what rather put me on. Was that you? Yeah. Okay, people, time to do the comedy thing on BBC Three now, me thinks, and we're going to do it big time, starting now through till the end of the night. And we begin with two pints, a double bill. Let's go. Good Lord, it's enormous. It is huge, isn't it? Oh, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Nick and Nat Appleton take us into their hearts, well, into their houses at least, in Appleton and Appleton in half an hour on BBC Three. First, some unadulterated, pure soap. And stretch your toes and point close. Rosie, what are you doing? The interrogators are back in half an hour on BBC Three. They got the dosh last week, but this week, well, who knows? Now, first day back with yet another new dance to learn. Right, so we can, so I want to go mad. I want to feel different, I want to enjoy myself. We get the Strictly Come Dancing after show aftermath at 8.30 here on BBC Three, but first just a little bit more rock and roll than that. With strobe lighting, we're back in Glastonbury, baby. On three, we show you the latest and most devious scams out there as we reveal the real hustle, followed next by the wonderfully surreal and very daft Mighty Bush. And then later on, we have Safer Ground with the funny side of the battle of the sexes in Man Stroke Woman. But first, all aboard, the real hustle. Right, so we can, so I want to go mad. I want to feel different, I want to enjoy myself. <laughs> Strobe lighting and quality tunes now on BBC Three. They have the likes of Snow Patrol and Tim Booth performing. They are Colin and Edith. This is Glastonbury Calling. Now on Three, we have a look back over the funny, rude and downright hilarious boo-boos we've made in the making of our shows and Three's outtakes. Then next, we bring you a little Britain double bill, but first, very saucy and a wee bit rude, it's Three's outtakes. I, you're sitting in front of me now, absolutely starkers, nothing on at all. <laughs> Are you a bit embarrassed? Nothing in the least. But you're old enough to be my granddad. I am, yes. Yeah. We have a cracking film for you tomorrow night, as at nine, Eddie Murphy's back on the beat in Beverly Hills Cop 2. But first tonight, strong language and a very twisted tale. So we hand off to the Real Hustle crew now on BBC Three for a sweet car-clamping con. Then next up, more comedy Karen Taylor style, and if you don't know what that means, you soon will. And later, antenatal and alcohol, we take a serious look at the effects in Pissed and Pregnant. And you feel so embarrassed, you feel like the ground should just open up and swallow you. High Spirits is at 9.30, but now on BBC Three, how much are you affecting your kids by what you do in your life now? We take the scientific look, and honey, we're killing the kids. Like I just said, Third Degree is concerned with blood diamonds in 15 minutes on BBC Three, but our concern right now is with the day's headlines, so bring on the new show. Well... In men's clothing, I just can't, you know, one just can't feel comfortable. Whereas, as a woman, I know most people think it's exploiting us out, but I feel more comfortable just as a woman than I do as a man. At 8.30 tonight, we try to restrain yet another little angel, but first tonight, we meet the good, the bad and the ugly of the snacking world. Attack of the Snacks in Body Hits. Oh, yes, that was a terrible term. I even had to wear my outdoor coat indoors. Just half an hour away before we have a Crimbo Laugh-a-thon as we don't just have Titty Bang Bang on BBC Three, it's Chrissy Titty Bang Bang. First though, in Little Britain, it's the Brits abroad. Conning credit cards and scuppering shopkeepers, that's the job of the real hustle now on BBC Three. And then next up, back with the man in black for more kiss-ass moves. Did I just say kiss-ass? It's kick-ass. Kick. Kiss-ass would be a whole other show. Uh, well, no, I really can't say that I have, because, uh, I mean, no, I, 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 well, I really haven't, no. The brilliantly surreal Mighty Bush is at 12.30 here on 3, but first up tonight, strong language, and we have the naughty version of footballers who are just not on the ball. And now, and then, and then, and then. 
Well, in half an hour, we concern ourselves with Jess and the crew for the real hustle here on BBC Three. But first, we educate you in the subject of rock and roll history. It's the story of Pulp's Common People. May I ask what you think you're doing? I should have thought it was obvious. More altercations on the way to the altar in around an hour and wedding stories. But first, very, very, very strong language. It's not the easiest thing to make spaghetti. Now on three, we unveil the challenges faced in recreating the Doctor for 21st century audiences. A writer's tale reveals all about Doctor Who. Confidentially, of course. Don't come too BBC Three, time to hand over to Scott Mills as he brings us all the latest mad, bad and dangerous to stand next to without earplugs. We'll be the champions of tonight's Upstaged. Well, the pressure's on for another puss, uh, groom to be in Don't Tell the Bride in half an hour on BBC Three, but before that, the only pressure is to remember their lines. Oh dear. Now on BBC Three, we hand over to a certain songstress and her first ever whack at having her own TV show. It's another chance to see tonight's stonking new Lily Allen and Friends. Oh, you've got to love this time of year. You've got to love this show. Now on BBC Three, it's a cacophony of camp crazy tray fabulousness. It's the Eurovision semi-final. Brand new BBC Three means brand new drama, and that's exactly what this is, mate. Where else would you find a gay Buddhist kung fu cop? Tell me that, then. It's foo action. Three. Now on three, all the hard work it takes to become a head chef, and then you can't even eat any of your own food, because, what, it's too expensive? It's too rich? No, it's because you only eat biscuits. Now on BBC Three, time to hand over to Scott Mills as he brings us all the latest mad, bad and dangerous to stand next to without earplugs. We'll be the champions of tonight's Upstaged.
Smith's the stand heads to Atlantic City, but first on three we're back in Quahog, and it's Cleveland versus Brian in a battle of the heart. It's Family Guy. Be still my beating heart, the first of a double bill. Expect some strong language and to fall head over heels. It's BBC Three's Normal People. Oh yes, this is it. BBC Three has been given the key to the mothership every Monday to Wednesday and we're about to get wild. Containing strong language and adult humour from the start, it's the new series of BAFTA award winning Fleabag. a bit of new comedy on a Wednesday night? Of course you do. With some strong language, BBC Three grabs the mic on BBC One to see what the Midlands has to offer. Look, now the Winter Olympics recently passed this year. I had a great time watching it, I'll be real. It's rivalry like this and these sorts of battles which just make the whole thing lively. Here's Freeze back on the nice. Now unsigned with strong language, it's double the bounce and a double bill of brickies. You might have nodded off before we get to the end. We'll see. With some strong language, Zen Motor and <laughs> Hot property with drag races Ellie Diamond is on the way in an hour. Is it okay to judge a guy by their footy boots? Right now, though, on three, and new, taking streetwear to a whole new level. We join Clara and Miguel in the drop to harness the power of social media in 30 minutes, but first, the second in our double bill of East Enders. Look, for real, if you can't communicate in relationships, then respectfully, you're done putting couples to the test with Love in the Flesh tonight at 10. Look at that, that rhyme. Speaking of rhyming, is toxic masculinity everywhere. Let's find out in some real bars. This is Toxic Ting, Laugh Lessons. Yeah. 